We've had Lean and CMMI and ITIL and now DevOps. It'll be something else next month. Does that sound familiar? I'm often asked if ITIL has passed its prime or is it becoming outdated? So what's the answer? In this 21st century, technology rapidly changes and those who work in IT have to keep pace with this rapid development. So is an organisation heavily invested in ITIL in danger of losing the agility that's required to keep pace nowadays? Well, as you already know, there's a new player in the ITIL world, DevOps. Actually, it's not that new. It's been around since 2008. But people do get confused by it. You see, DevOps isn't a thing. It's not something tangible that you can grasp in your hands. It's not a set of tools or a set of processes that you can use, although a lot of excellent tools and methods have emerged. And it's not a job title. DevOps is actually a cultural movement and a mindset whose goal is to help bring teams together, namely development and operations, and break down the barriers that occur within siloed mentality. This type of cultural shift is helping to change the way in which we work together, bringing immense benefits to the business. Imagine for a minute that you're in a restaurant having a meal with friends. The menu is developed by the chefs in the kitchen each chef specialising in their own dish. But the menu is offered to you by the waiting staff, and the waiting staff take your order, making note of your dietary requirements and your preferences, and they pass your choices back to the kitchen. The very same chefs that created the dishes on the menu will now listen to the waiter's interpretation of your desires and create a meal tailored to meet your needs. Each chef prepares their speciality and gives it to the waiter who's going to bring it to your table. If you need any additional seasoning or have complaints, then the waiting staff manage those for you. At no point in time do you, or any of your friends, you know, the customers, have any direct contact with the chefs who've prepared your meals. Does that sound familiar? You see, in IT, we display our service offerings in a service catalogue filled with services that have been developed by project teams. Business customers order services, project teams develop them and support staff handle delivery and future support. Just like the separation of kitchen and waiting staff in that restaurant, there's always been a them and us attitude separating development and support teams and activities within IT. In the 1990s, ITIL acknowledged that there needed to be better integration between project and support teams and introduced the concept of early life support period at the end of service deployment. DevOps is a mindset that focuses on that integration between the development and operations teams. It doesn't replace project management or service management processes and activities. It brings the two parts of the service provider together. Not so much acting in a translator role, but in a role that smooths the transition between the two. Project teams still have to manage projects and deliver new services. They just do so with the help of support staff. And service management teams still have to support the users and the customers. They just do so with the help of the project staff. Let's go back to the restaurant and imagine how different your meal experience would be if that level of collaboration had been in place there. The waiting staff would not just present you with a menu, but would be able to advise you on ingredients used, on preparation methods, on pairing with wine and other courses, and on how long it would take to cook the meal. The chefs would cook your meal, understanding fully your preferences, your dietary requirements, and also any time restrictions you may have. They would have direct involvement in feedback and complaints and be able to witness firsthand the experience of the diners eating the meal. Each team would still have their own skills, but the enhanced perception of the whole restaurant experience by all staff would result in faster delivery time of meals, increased customer satisfaction and ultimately increased efficiency. In the ITIL world, one of ITIL's biggest criticisms has been that ITIL is too rigid and prescriptive, and yet that goes against everything that ITIL has ever stood for. ITIL's never been a one-size-fits-all option. From the very early days of ITIL, we've promoted its flexibility. We adopt ITIL and adapt it to our own environment. If ITIL and service management processes are perceived to be too bureaucratic, then it's simply because they've been implemented incorrectly. Remember the ITIL tenets of efficiency and effectiveness? 
The challenge that organisations fail when implementing a service management framework is to maintain control whilst maximising efficiency. It's no wonder that feedback from those who have simply cut and pasted the ITIL processes into their environment is that nothing worked as expected. So what does that mean to you if you're using more than one framework to facilitate service management? What if there are proponents of ITIL and operations and proponents of Agile in development and proponents of DevOps in the CIO's office? Well, as I've already said, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to success, and neither Agile nor ITIL can deliver that for you. In a DevOps environment, the project teams and the service management teams still have to function in a structured, efficient and effective way. Project management and service management processes still have to exist. They just don't exist independently. The answer is to focus more on the why and the what, and less on what we call things. In a multi-framework environment, stakeholders should be brought together to discuss what each framework is bringing or is intended to bring to the table to achieve the desired results. Ultimately, our focus should be on what framework adds the most value to the organisation in each individual situation. Value delivery is our aim after all. Thank you ever so much for watching. We hope this video has been useful to you and if you're looking for more information on this or any other service management topic, then please contact me via LinkedIn or at joe.peacock at outlook.com and I'll be happy to help.